Hey guys and girls, it's Mark and I'm Truth Seeker at the Mars Anomaly Research Channel. And I was going through some pictures today and there's an image in Sol 931 and uh, there's an object that I find in there that's very strange. At least to me it's very strange. And uh, I hope you uh, feel the same way. So let's take a quick look at it and uh, we'll go through the image. Okay, here we are. This is uh, Curiosity Left Mass Cam. Um, I'll give you all the links as usual. Um, this is the image in Midnight Planets, which is directly from NASA anyway. Uh, but I'll give you all the links. And, uh, you know, the area that I'm concerned with is this. And then there's uh, a couple of pieces over in this area. And then back here, one of these rocks here, it looks like it's got a bunch of carvings in it. Okay, here's the image. Now, this is in Photoshop. Look at this. The way this is cut right off. It's like somebody came in and took a chunk right out of this. And then look at the angle here. Here. It's almost like somebody started to carve something out of this rock. I mean, when you look at it compared to the other pieces in the area, and even other images, I mean, it's just, it really stands out. You know, it's like somebody came in with something and just cut this out and was going to maybe take this whole piece off. Maybe there was a piece down here that snapped off. There's something up here, but he, uh, NASA definitely came in and they put like this white, I don't know, it's like white filler. It's almost like they take the uh, dodge brush and just go over. Like, uh, let's see if I can show you. See the dodge tool? See, like if I came in with it and just wanted to hide this area. See how easy it is for them? You really wouldn't know any different. And that's really what they're doing. So like if I wanted to take this So, you know, you can almost just make it kind of just blend in and disappear. And I'm just, you know, I'm not taking my time. So as you can see, with, you know, the dodge brush, it's easy to, you know, just hide stuff. And, you know, they're definitely using that. I mean, that's guaranteed. You know, they're coming. And see, I'm not... Uh, I'm not really taking my time, but if I wanted to hide something, see, I mean, this is what they're doing. I mean, there's other techniques that they're using, but, you know, you can see like in areas like this, it's like they're just coming down. simple. You know, you could just draw in things, make shadows, you know, you could take the texture from this rock and you could see, you know, like they come into certain areas, you know, when they don't want you to see something, you could almost see like they're drawing in the rock. You could see like there's a pattern going that way, that way when you really go in close on certain certain rocks where there's uh, I believe artifacts I mean, look at this piece here oh let me go back to this look at this piece it's got one knob one ball, one another ball, another ball comes up. It's a rectangle. 
look at this little piece on the back of it and they just come in they just you know fade it out a little bit I mean I believe that they're taking these images from a great distance and then they're just cropping them into smaller pictures so when we go to zoom in I mean there's just no detail I can guarantee you, I can almost guarantee you on my life that they have crystal clear high definition video, audio, uh, I would almost go to say 4K video. There is no way that the first, you know, two uh, rovers that they sent up there were able to send back better quality pictures than these these uh, couple of rovers it's it just it, it makes no sense and when you think about it why would they go up there time after time after time hundreds of millions billions of dollars to go to a dead planet just to say oh there might be water I mean you really have to think about this Look at the shape of this. Look at this stuff. See the carvings in it? Look at this. It's got a base. And then this piece comes out and stands right up. It almost looks like a little carved bird. Okay. I mean, that's the only thing I could really equate it to. But who knows? I mean, look at these pieces. They look like they're intricately carved. There's uh, no way, there's just no way that they, they kept spending money to go to a dead planet. You know, I've gotten emails from people, you know, say they worked at NASA and worked on Mars projects and the pictures you know they say that the, and the thing that's crazy is most of the people that say that they are on were on the in or on the in say that we're seeing about 30 to maybe 40 percent of the real image and uh, you know a couple of people have said that and it's kind of strange because I I felt that way from the beginning you know when I go through these pictures that a lot of it is hidden If it has something to do with the funding um, that they, you know, had it set up that, you know, they could lose, you know, maybe 60% of the data and, you know, produce an image that's in accordance with, you know, their funding. I mean, who only knows? I mean, what they're doing. has to be breaking every part of their funding agreement. I mean, this is just insane. Unless everybody's in on it. I mean, who? It's just crazy. I mean, look at the look at this stuff. I mean, you could see that they came in and just worked this area. I mean, and I just showed you how easy it is with the the dodge brush, the, especially in black and white. My lord, is it, uh, I mean, I could teach, uh, you know, a two-year-old. In a couple of minutes, a two-year-old could be hiding stuff. I mean, you see how they came in here? I believe this is not sand anymore underneath here, but it almost looks like this rock is just floating in air. I mean, of course it's not, but see how they came in and just colored? You can almost see where the brush comes up a little here. They cut something out of here. And I'll give you the link. You got to take a look at this image. It's, it's pretty cool. Let me the shape of this block. 
I mean, look at the angles on this stuff. This is not one of those groundbreaking or smoking gun images, but man, <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with it. Look at this little piece. It almost looks like somebody's sitting there. That would be the leg, an arm, the head. Yeah, who only knows on the scale of some of this stuff? Right, look at the way this, this rock is just cut. It's just cut right off. strange piece here. Looks like there's an eye, another eye, the mouth, the chin. Look at this piece. How does how does a rock grow into this? Look at the strange things coming out of it. a perfect circle, circle, look at these carvings, and look at this, this is just cut right off, see how do you erase the top of this image, it looks like they used the dodge brush, Let's see there's some type of design in this, came in and covered the front of this up. It looks like a skull. There would be an eye and eye. And then the strange thing is, look at the eye on this one. Look at the eye on this. You see that? It's almost identical. It's a little weird. piece it's sticking straight up it almost looks like it's got something coming across where it would be like a cross Take stuff like this, you know. I mean, look at. I mean, look at how intricate the patterns are. I mean, it's just. It's insane to say. That all of this was done by nature. I mean, obviously, this planet was blown to hell. Do I personally believe that there's something, or yeah, oh yeah, there's somebody. There's somebody there. And I believe our government is in on it too. You know, 
the UFO phenomenon. You, you know, I have uh, a telescope. I watch the moon. I've seen craft fly out of craters, do maneuvers that uh, just defy logic. I've seen these craft, some of them have to be about the size of a football field, maybe even a little bigger. You know, flying around, I've seen a pattern of uh, three craft look like they were going into a crater on the moon. And one of the reasons I believe that they're going into these craters is whatever minerals or whatever they're mining, most of their work is done. You know, instead of starting on flat ground and mining, I mean, you're going into a crater hole. You know, God knows how deep it could be. And on the other hand, what's the chances of another rock hitting that same exact spot? There's definitely a big connection. There's life teeming in our solar system. And the universe is just full with life. And uh, my personal belief is God created all of it. So religion has no effect on... My religion, to me, is not affected at all. You know. But, uh, you know, I believe the UFO phenomenon... Is uh, it's got a lot to do with Mars, our Moon, Mercury, and uh, you know, if we keep up hard enough, as the you know the evidence is mounting, sooner or later, sooner or later, and I'll say it again, sooner or later, something's gonna pop. You know. All right, guys and girls, I rambled on enough.